Hey guys, Jeremy here, and uh, talking a little bit more about the Wayward Sisters cancellation. It was announced a few weeks ago, but kind of about a week ago, and since then there has been a change petition. Now, I'm not really one for petitions, mainly because I've seen a lot of these things get a lot of signatures and nothing happens. So that's just my personal experience from things I've seen. However, this already has almost 75,000 signatures, which is pretty decent considering it started less than a week ago. However, there's just one slight issue. You're gonna need to bump those numbers up a lot. What I mean by that is the amount of viewers that this show has. If you go on the Wikipedia page and you look up the average viewer count, you'll notice that, for instance, season 12, the last season, had an average of 2.62 million viewers an episode, which is extremely dis- and that's extremely disheartening for me, mainly because that season was fucking garbage, and yet it was point zero two less than season five which is the best season in the entire series basically so that's extremely disheartening but there you go there is an average number so this petition needs to hit at least a million before it actually gets taken seriously i also found this kind of graphic that's going around called save wayward and it talks about how and it talks about how they want to get <laughs> it talks about basically the petition and trying to get this show pushed onto netflix on the page it says we need your help we have worked too hard and believe in this too much to let go uh I think let it go I think that's what she means so here's the deal we're not giving up without a fight and that's where you come in now I'm gonna be just a little bit cynical here but what have you worked for you didn't put the show together unless you did then if you were on the crew but the supernatural crew continued on to work on all the other episodes now it's unfortunate that we are losing a show that is majoritively women that is a really cool idea, but we're getting Charmed instead, it seems. But Charmed was a show that has success. Wayward Sisters is a un, it's an uncharted territory. Yes, it's a supernatural territory, but in terms of the reception for the episode, from what I saw, was not enough to guarantee this show getting picked up. Also, on the other side of that, as I said, you need over a million for this to be taken seriously, but even then, you need at least 2.6, because this is a show that contains two main leads, Sam and Dean, Jared and Jensen, and they don't get paid as much as most actors do for their television show runs. What these guys did very early on is they got investments through the show, so they were able to make money through the fandom, the the fan purchases, all the items, kind of like a George Lucas sort of deal in terms of the merchandise. And that's how they've kept this show going, because these guys don't get paid that much in terms of what, realistically, they should be getting paid for season 14 runners. But so now you have to imagine the same situation for that of Wayward Sisters. This is five leads, five or four lead girls, and they are all going to get paid a decent rate, because that's what they deserve. They don't deserve less. But admittedly, the first season might be an idea, but then afterwards, obviously, the pay raises go up. You guys want an example? Look at the Big Bang Theory. Those actors are getting paid millions of dollars, and that's because they don't just do investments through. They're just greedy bastards. How is this show going to be able to survive of such a small viewer count when they need to pay the actors, they need to pay the crew? All of these factors play in. So that's why I'm saying that your petition while it's a good idea, it needs to reach at least a million to maybe have an idea, and at least two million for it actually to be taken seriously. And on the side of that, yes, Netflix might be able to do something, because Netflix has done this before with CW. They've done this with Riverdale, but that was a co-signed deal that was made in the first place, and then the 100, which was saved by Netflix. But this is a different story. We already have Supernatural currently running as it is. And Supernatural and Netflix have had a good deal in the past where the previous season is released onto Netflix just before the new season comes out. However, I don't know if that happened with 13. I didn't see anything about 12 on Netflix, but I haven't been checking because I don't want to ever remember that season at all. This is a different story because Supernatural is still running on the CW network. It is still on its channel. 
So, the fact that Wayward Sisters is a side subsidiary of Supernatural, it is still under that clause line, which means it is a product of Supernatural, which means it is a product of CW in its entirety. And while this is a similar situation to that of the 100, which has gone on to make six seasons so far, it's because of Netflix that this show was saved. Now, mainly, that not possibly the same thing could happen with Netflix. But in my personal opinion, I just don't think this is going to work. They realize that the boys are the main reason why half of anyone watches this show. He, There is a reason why Supernatural, there is a nickname for the Supernatural fan group called the Squeeze Supernaturals. The Squee Viewers. I'm... <laughs> I don't know if it's entirely accurate, but there is a very large group within that categorization. So, when you figure that in, and then it's a show about five female leads, I don't know, I just, I don't see this happening. It's great to see that people are this much dedicated. They, they want this show to come out, and it was an actually good idea. I was down with this idea, unlike the previous spinoff they tried back in season eight or nine. But I just really feel it's not going to work. I don't think there's going to be a want for it because I have a feeling that this show, please, might actually be coming to an end with season 14. They've almost reached the 300th episode, which is one I think they've been aiming for. And I know that once this ends, probably the brothers are going to retire. Jensen and Jared will probably just stop. I even call them brothers, even though they're not brothers. But anyways, guys, that's all for me. So... You know what? Hell, I'll put a link in the description talking, like, taking you guys to the petition, and you guys can sign it if you want. Like I said, I'm not very hopeful uh, for this sort of situation to pan out, but maybe I might be wrong. And if I am proven wrong, then that's all the greater, because this is a great opportunity for the, for the female leads, and it's another job in Vancouver. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hey, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that the show could get picked up? Do you think that it should be picked up? And do you kind of understand where I'm coming from with my reasons as to why it probably won't? Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.